Valandra would cure wounds on Waverly again since she's still down. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I mean, we're gonna have a long rest, aren't we? Well, yeah, but it's it'll make her more comfortable. <laughs> And and it is less suspicious if she's not, you know, people don't know that she was out there. I was, I, I rolled a 21 on stealth. I'm sneaking in. I know, but someone might be in the carts and see you there and you shouldn't be bleeding on the silk. I don't, yes. Especially if I want to take some of it. Just a little piece. Just a little piece. When no one's looking. Just a smidge. It's a souvenir. I don't know that's how those things work, but okay. It's <laughs> how it works for Waverly. Fair enough. My mind goes to Wally and Young Justice. <laughs> souvenir. Actually, right, I kind of hope so that becomes a thing. <laughs> Waverly just takes souvenirs from every step of the journey. That's that. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crud. This way I don't have a way to... All right, I think I figured out how to make this work. I apologize for the audio. For anybody who's listening in on the uh, Twitch stream, I am winging it at the moment because I'm set up wrong. I've also made the screen size wrong. Talk to Scott Small. Hmm. Hang on. Wait. Alright. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. I did things wrong. Very wrong. Alright, so let's see here. 1600 by 8. So probably. No. 1800 by 1200? Bang. Okay, so not that. How about that? Close that enough for change. government work. <laughs> It'll catch up in a second. It's the oh, same. 1900 by 10. Oh, there it goes. There Thank it you. is. All right. It's close. And all right, so I got that part. I don't have anybody's names. I'll grab that off of this real quick. I'll do the cheeky way. Not that. No, don't show them all my secrets. <laughs> what are what? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing good, that's for sure. Why aren't you doing this right? What am I doing wrong here? Ah. Well, there was definitely something else there, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, there's other. There were other things there. All right. Glad we left when we did. Got rid of the tavern talk. That's awesome. Good job, Casey.
is what happens when I play with technology while people can see what's happening. Fair. You know what? It's totally fine being that huge. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do that. That's but fine. Then what I want to do is I want to capture Discord, this little piece right here, which should happen by hitting this button and this button. I have no idea what's happening. This button. Okay, good. I've got so far. Now I hit OK. And I shrinky dink this. And I shrinky dink that. And I open this up. Yay! It's not quite what I want, but. Yay. It works. Good there enough. We go. Get us out of the torch. The thing I hmm. used. I think you're probably using it for the other one, but it uh makes everything so you could just see the bubbles, like you don't even see the background at all. Yes, that's... you don't even have to shrink it. That's oh, that would be so much easier. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Yeah, I'll do that next time. Um, that's that's the trick we use to actually do the highlights around people's names as we're talking. Mm -hmm. I just didn't think of that because I'm so you, dumb. Do you do that like? Like have like one layer for everybody. No, what we do is you shrink it around the one. No, bubble? no. Um, what you do is um. How can I show this? Um, basically, you write the CSS so that it takes each of the uh, lines and uh, moves them around so that the circle shows up in the right place. And there's no way I'm going to be able to describe it because while I can make CSS work sometimes. I don't know it fluently enough to use the right words to describe what I'm doing. Um, but if you want to know how to make circles come up around things, I can show you how to do that. It's not terribly hard. Um, but uh, before we get into that, uh, and before I forget everything I want to do, there were some excellent moments, and there were also some things that happened that are worthy of experience. So we should do some math and assign some experience. Uh, yes! So... Uh, let's start off with uh, some of the cool stuff that happened because there were a few cool moments. Uh, who would like to start nominating folks? Okay, I first want... off. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, I want to nominate Chloe just for her uh, her, her naming. Beverly <laughs> in <Yes>! Belantra. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 125 I XP. Think, like, she or... has been like the most in character out of everybody like consistently all the time i, I would like to nominate uh chloe and joey for doing the responsible thing and just staying out of yes all right and nobody and nominating Joey because he turned his really amazing weapon into a giant blue turkey leg <laughs> 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 And then totally owned it. Like, he was like, no, this is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Yeah, I love that he was the most recognizable and just in character. <laughs> it's because of the turkey leg. Giant turkey leg. Absolutely. I would like to nominate, I'd like to nominate Talaise for the flowers for the dead titan. Thank you. It was, it was, it was a nice gesture. Absolutely. All right, and I try not to nominate directly because I feel like it's a little out there. But come on, Valandra, you kill people. I... <laughs> yes, we were getting there. Okay. We're getting there. I mean, we were getting there. There's a list. There's a lot of amazing stuff happened tonight. Right. Valandra for murder. For killing a guy. Uh... And then bringing it back to life immediately afterwards. <laughs> Oops, oops, I'm killing, sorry, whoops! Killing, killing a guy for about three seconds. <laughs> it's a long three seconds, though. She just made him reevaluate his entire life. <laughs> Giuseppe was a nice guy. He's like, look, I don't want to fight this little kid. How about you just pay the silver? You're like, nope, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> He's like, really? Oh, my God, you did. <laughs> 
He didn't want to be a part of it. This poor man. <laughs> poor guy. I don't know. should have just paid the silver. <laughs> uh, Don, for the old man act. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you were imagining the Robin Hood uh, scene too, because that it just seemed right up the alley. Absolutely. And Waverly for dragging us into danger because she's Danger Mouse. You're welcome. Like, absolutely insisted that we all go and get into trouble. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm kind of amused how everyone's blaming Waverly for that when it's Melandra <laughs> who just started walking off. Just too innocent. <laughs> Waverly will take the blame. She has zero regrets. <laughs> In fact, she's proud of everything that just happened. <laughs> She is. They made, they made the, that place safer, because there's less giant brains. There are fewer giant brains than there were before. Dang it! I've been muted all this time. <laughs> oh. Have we been right. nominating people and we just didn't? Well, hear you? No, well the, the one thing is, it's like Belandra for killing a guy and then slapping him back to life, which I thought yes. was great. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so uh, those who participated in combat, uh, which would be Dawn, Valandra, Waverly, and Talese, uh each earn uh, 340 experience from the combat itself. And Valandra gets 10 experience for killing the guy. <laughs> it's a free 10 XP for Stand murder. Standalone experience for murder. There it, we go. It was not free. <laughs> uh, most yes. expensive murder. <laughs> it was the most expensive murder ever. That was, that was a, a pricey <laughs> combat sequence. <laughs> I, I am glad that none of us are mad at her for using the diamond dust. <laughs> Turned out great. It's, it's, this, is, this is great. It's the best 300 gold we've ever spent. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and she's still not impressing she's, anybody. She's <laughs> so upset about that. Like, even though she brought him back, like, that was not what she meant to do at all. She thought he was tougher than he actually was, and she didn't think that spell did that much, because the only time she's used it before, it didn't. <laughs> That's when you hit the 25. <laughs> yep. No, she rolled really high. She rolled like a 6, a 9, and a 10 out of 3d10. Yeah, that was a, that was a painfully uh, struck blow. I... I hate nominating myself, but I would like to throw it into the ring that I healed someone and then immediately killed them. <laughs> yes! I, I, will, yes. I will second that nomination. Because the cat hissed at him. <laughs> Cat's angry. Kill it. Because seriously, I, when I had to run my cat out of the room because he was tearing up stuff, uh, my dad was like, so how's it going? And I was like, well, I healed someone, and then I murdered them. <laughs> and he was like, uh, he's like, that's, so it's going well. I'm like, it's going well. <laughs> it's, it's how it goes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and move us back on the road again. Where'd my road go? Road, where'd you go? Bro. Oh, there it is. Got too many pages lined up. I had so many pages lined up. 
what the archive function is for. I, I, I should, but I'm like, I'll reuse this one. You know, I'm like, All right, I should probably just let it go eventually. Couple of days journey. Uh, I would like to nominate. I guess who would, uh, Dawn for or, hmm, I'm trying to figure out who to nominate for it. But the uh, I will nominate Edgar for the <laughs> <laughs> for the 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 light. Scaring everyone in camp. And yeah, the I... demon bird. Is that? I, I don't I, know. I, I, don't... I think that would be a mutual nomination of both Waverly and Don. Waverly and will... Don. Yeah. yeah. Let's share that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I. Hmm. They each get sixty-two and a half from that one. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna hold on that one because I feel like that's already in kind of mixed in with the other ones that you guys have been doing, and also that could have gone disastrously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, gonna... so while that was an interesting effect, I'm not sure it was a cool move on your part. So much it was something that could have gone very badly. But uh, the light on Edgar was a good idea, but maybe not a 125 award point. <laughs> yeah, he... It, it, <coughs> it, it didn't... It, it happened really fast, but... Uh, uh, Dawn wasn't expecting her to, like, do it right there <laughs> you in know the like in the camp. middle of the camp <laughs> i mean because like common sense but then it happened he was like oh shit okay <laughs> go go bird go quick okay but this is waverly we're talking about her common sense seems to be an issue <laughs> intelligence is higher than my wisdom <laughs> <laughs> let's go uh... i hear i hear people crying in the distance we are on a mission we are the kid <laughs> dark out we should not be doing this i'm gonna go help them anyway people <laughs> could be in danger yes but yes. so could the caravan if we leave it so... Waverly, next time let them die <laughs> never <laughs> never i i i will say uh, i very much appreciated the the uh unflinching uh, must help the little people attitude. That was very nice. Uh, I, I will also say I am very sad that uh, Talese passed both of the charisma saving throws because I really wanted to do a Sharknado moment. Uh, but, oh well. So what happens if you... Fail the charisma save. Sharknado. Uh, Sharknado. <laughs> Sharknado. Sharknado happens. Uh, <laughs> the the remnants of uh, the Titans' magics uh, cause gravity to relax in the area, the water to float up, and the fish to fly. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, Going off, going off of that, so when she kind of apologized when she left, was that a it was, like it was a you're forgiven? It was a you're... demonstration slash acknowledgement. Um, but I don't know if forgiven because there's a little bit of a threat in there. In there was because of the teeth. There's the so many piranha teeth. slash kipper in the air. Uh, Don and I were talking while you were gone. Oh, cool. uh, we were we wanted to put our heads together and see if we could kind of figure out if we could figure out what that is because that's a very large corpse in the middle of you know obvious <laughs> places. In the middle of an obvious place that's obviously called the Fields of the Dead, though. So uh, you may certainly 
do some research into it. Uh, are you like, just going off of like what a you... history check or Hist something that we could like history arcana? Either one could certainly apply. What are you better at, Don? Arcana. Uh, I'm a three across the board, so if you have a better arcana, I'll just be assisting you. <laughs> it has a five. Yeah, so I'll just help you with that. Could Valandra make a history on that, too? Sure, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, Val Valandra could throw in a history. Okay. Um, so, uh, it is obviously larger than any of the existing creatures you know of. Uh, giants top out smaller than that. Um, ancient days spoke of much larger creatures, and of course, gods could assume pretty much any form they wished, as could uh, certain magic users. That was likely the remains of a creature that would be classed uh, a god or near to the gods. The area, the fields of the dead, are so named, uh, one, because many a battle has been waged across them, and two, because they have a tendency to expose odd corpses from time to time. Uh, things not found in this area, um, though it has not been explained as to why, but uh, great seagoing beasts will sometimes be found exposed in the mud and the uh, runoff areas here. Uh, this one is a known oddity, but it's also known it's extremely bad luck to go near it. Often fatally bad. They noticed. <laughs> uh, but that's about what you would get out of it from having spent 15 to 20 minutes studying it and now trying to recall things that you know of the area. Uh, perhaps access to a library and more research or returning at a later date would net you more information. Definitely putting a note. I'm putting a note to do some research on it. Sure. Stage background. Um, because that's probably the closest place I've ever felt to any deity ever, yeah. and she and she knows that it was mad at her, <laughs> and she would like to know what god she pissed off. Yeah. Uh, really you, often you, know, often you know, her new the best place, Dawn, like, hands <laughs> down, is Candlekeep. Yep. Uh, but you're fairly certain the library in El Terrell would also be an excellent resource. Oh, my hatred. Well, he's less, like, hatred-y of Candlekeep. Because, like, he like he came from a little town. He didn't know what he needed to get in there. It's not like a place that you, anybody could go and read books, like he thought. He's like, library, that's where I go. But, uh... He now knows what he has to do. Uh, Baldur's Gate is a center of trade, uh, and there are libraries and mm -hmm. institutions and things there, but it's more mercantile. Um, there might be information since this is only, uh, you know, a short distance away, um, but your centers of learning would be more candle keep for actual learning. El Terrell, just because they document everything. Everything. I have to get through all the excess bullshit before you get to, like, the actual knowledge. <laughs> that is true. There's a, there's a lot of uh, tape on their books, and much of it is read. Uh, but, uh, let's see here. Is anything else uh, nomination-wise for you guys? I think that was a pretty good... Run I, up there. I love that Valandra kind of made a better disguise for herself by failing all of the checks she tried to do. 
She failed like, upward. All the, all the sleight of hands and stealth and intimidation she failed <laughs> and is less recognizable because of it. Um, yeah, I think you've just got so much going on, it distracts from what you really are. Like, like people well, and, like, and, what? And, and if someone was trying to, like, sneakily follow these, th it wouldn't be so obvious as the, you know, yeah, they'd be uh, better at it than yeah, this. Okay, we're, we're looking for a little girl. She served, like, a good healer. You mean the <laughs> murderous hard thing over no 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 murder not murder healing the murdering one no the healing uh, we ain't got one of those <laughs> um so yes uh that uh that disguise is at least a little kick in it but it's a long the, way to get to the, the troll accidental Claws disguise yes <laughs> yes the accidental disguise uh you've got a ways up to the troll claws and then beyond there to Dragon Spear, which is probably the first place that someone could even consider handling these many goods. And then a ways on, possibly to Daggerford, Waterdeep, Red Larch, Triborough, Long Saddle, Mirbar, and then on to the Endless Ice Sea, because that's obviously where you're going. Or maybe not. Say Long Saddle could be fun. But that's very far away. <laughs> oh god, long saddle. <laughs> There's that. Or uh, if they decide to take the high road, uh, perhaps up through to Neverwinter, and maybe even visiting good old Luskin. Oh joy. Oh lovely. Everybody Luskin. wants to go to Luskin. Some of the best people I know come from Luskin. Luskin's so. known as the city of sales, though. Uh, it was. Yeah, but the, this is... It's its just like a hellscape now. <laughs> yes. Uh, ever no since... The carnival. I don't I'm, think the carnival still exists. No, the I'm carnival just, does I'm not. I'm just saying that there might be someone in the party, if we ended up in Luskin, she might be interested in, you know, hey. talking to some people there. About a uh, about hundred years ago, when Mount Hotnow erupted and destroyed the city of Neverwinter, Luskin started its decline, and now it is... Uh, a hive of villainy, merfolk and worse, lurk on the docks. A rough and tumble crew of half orcs and dwarves running about there, though the worst of them seems to have headed out a little while ago to make uh, their way in the world. Wrong world. Really? I'm pretty sure it's the same world. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You've heard you've heard some rumors that uh, a white dragon has established itself to the north of Mount Hot now. Actually, this dragon's establishing themselves all over the place. Chromatics are on the rise once more. I wonder if that's related to what you guys are doing. Hmm. It couldn't be. What? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. All the coincidence. Sorry, when we when we smash all the worlds together in one huge crossover event that confuses everyone and doesn't make any sense or have any fun, it would be interesting. Aw, the lonely moor. So sad. Uh, so, let's see here. Uh, Valandra got uh, her lore dump. Uh, everybody else, I think I am caught up on it. If there's any questions kicking around that I haven't responded to, please remind me. I think I got everybody's uh, little bits of researches squared away. Yeah, I'm also kind of amused because Valandra was going to be, like, kind of a little bit more withdrawn and preoccupied than usual, but now there's a, a completely separate reasonable explanation for why that was, so it wasn't as much <laughs> worth mentioning. That is true. Valandra learned what it is to kill. Well, I mean, she'd killed things before, but those were things she'd been <laughs> meaning to kill. 
This was an accident. To accidentally kill. Accidental kill. kill. Oh, I guess I guess that would be manslaughter. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which is worse than murder for her, because if it's murder, she's trying to do it. Giuseppe Pace. If it's murder, they probably deserve. Yeah, if Valandra's trying to murder you, you've done something wrong. Fair enough. Uh, and uh, I will let you know the next <coughs> oh, excuse me couple of plot points on the road I may throw out there in the chat uh, so do please read up on the chat uh, for next week <coughs> excuse me um, just because some of the road travels um, on the tabletop version might be kind of cool because you're like hey move my little icon two or three here we're gonna skip a few of them because some time is a passing uh and we'll go from there cool oh and no when will i when will i roll to steal that silk i don't know when will you roll to steal that silk do you want to try it now i will do it now okay let's uh let's go when... back over here and uh Wait. let's uh Let's see. Now, you have two guards who are actively protecting I just want this a silk. Little piece. Okay, so... And then you have one owner. Uh, so, it's probably not going to be super hard for you. Uh, but, please roll me a sleight of hand. Could have been better, could have been worse. Could have been better, could have been worse, but I think it was good enough. Uh, you have acquired... How big a piece of silk were you going for? Like handkerchief-sized. Handkerchief-sized for you, or sheet-sized for you, which would be handkerchief-sized for someone else? I'm not that tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say, like, six inches square. Six inches How's square. That? Okay. You've acquired six inches of silk squared. Excellent. All right. It's going in the pockets. In the pocket. It's a souvenir. Fair deal. Uh, and is that it? If so, I think I'll wrap up the tavern talk because I'm out of topics unless you guys have something you want to hit up. Nothing I can't do next week. Okay. Uh, yeah. You got it. So I will throw some stuff into the chat throughout the week. Uh, a couple of bits and pieces. Do feel free to share with one another. Um, and I may ask for a roll here and there just to get uh, you guys on the individual things that you notice. If there's anything you do want to research, please feel free to shoot me a note uh, so I can research myself ahead of time and answer you correctly at game time. Please. I am running away then. Do you guys want me to leave the tavern talk on for a little bit or kill it and uh, we'll pick up next week? We're probably not going to be up. Yeah, I, I think I'm good. good yeah, we're good. Crushing and burning then. Thank you all. Have a great night. Good night. Good night.